pandas fill NA. So you have your data frame and it has NA values in it. NA means not available values. Well, oftentimes you're gonna have an algorithm that can't take NA values, so you're gonna to need to fill them with something. Luckily, pandas has a function called dot fill NA that'll do this exactly for you. Now, it starts off really easy and it gets really, really flexible after that. So let's take a look at what we can do. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna import pandas as PD. Great, and then I'm gonna create a data frame with some different NA values. Luckily, pandas has a dot NA already. So here I have a list of restaurants and uh, types of establishments and prices in San Francisco. We have name, type, and average bill. And as you can see here, I have plenty of NA values in each of the different uh, columns, um, columns here. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a default fill NA. So this means that we're gonna fill in every single NA value in the data frame. Now, all you need to do to do this is just pass in a string or a number or a timestamp or whatever you want. And so I'll call df.fillNA and we'll fill these here. So all of a sudden you see that all of the different NA values are now filled with the string no value available. Okay, but filling them with a the string no value available, it's, it's kind of weird when you have numbers here and you have restaurant names here and types here. What if you wanted to fill in an NA value per column? Well, all you need to do that, to do that is just pass in a dictionary or a series. Now here you'll see that I'll call dot fill NA. And then for the name column, I wanna fill it in with no name uh, rest period, abbreviated for restaurant. Here, I wanna fill in the type column with no name type. I'll run this. And as you can see here that these NA values get filled in with no name restaurant. This gets filled in with no name type. But because I didn't specify a column uh, fill value or fill NA value for average bill, nothing gets filled in here, okay? Uh, the next thing that you can do is you can also do this via a series instead of a dictionary. And so here I will have a series, let's print this out. And my first index value will be type and then no name type two and then average bill 100. Now, in order to fill NA with this, all you need to do is just pass that series into fill NA. And then all of a sudden it'll take the index, read that as your column names and then fill it in with your values. And here you can see that the index or average bill gets filled in with 100. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at some really cool functionality, which is backfill and forward fill. So what backfill means is it is going to look at the value in front of your NA values and backfill that um, known value. So let's take a look here at our original uh, data frame. So here, for example, it's gonna look at these three NAs and it's gonna look at the value in front of it, which is blue barn, and it's gonna backfill blue barn into those different NA values. So I'll scroll back down. I'll say method equals bfill, which is backfill. And I'm gonna say access equals zero, meaning I wanna do it from the column perspective. I'll go ahead and run this. And as you can see, blue barn gets propagated back. This 65 got propagated propagated back and this 224 got propagated back here. Now also notice how we still have one more NA and that is because there's no value in front of this NA so pandas doesn't know what to fill it with, okay? You can also do this with forward fill which is just the inverse of that. And so instead of taking the value in front and propagating it back, you're gonna look at the value in the back and propagate it forward and do a forward fill. I'll run this. And with these three NAs that we'd had before, now it gets filled with Liho Liho uh, all the way down. Okay. And what's uh, pretty interesting too is we've been looking at this from the col column perspective, but you can also do this from the row perspective. And so if I set my axis equals one right here, then all of a sudden the bar over here gets backfilled onto the name column, which is pretty interesting. And so you can see there's just a little bit more flexibility on how you wanna fill in these NAs. Okay. Now, the last thing that we're gonna go over is limits. And so say you want to uh, do a backfill or a forward fill, and you wanna do it on the columns, but if you forward fill too many times, the, the values that you fill with, it, they may not make sense anymore, or it may not be relevant because you've had to forward fill so much. So in this case, I'm gonna set my forward fill limit to two. So in this case with Liho Liho, I'm gonna fill in these three NAs with my forward fill. I'm gonna forward fill it once, twice, but because I set my limit to two, I do not want to set this row four to Liho Liho, and that'll set the limit. So pandas knows that I'm setting a limit on how much I want to forward fill with, 
and it's just going to leave this third forward fill or what would be the third forward fill it's going to leave that as na now that is pandas dot fill na